おはようございます。こんにちは。おこんばんは。depending on what time you're watching this during the day. I'm j a y Or hello. Or hello. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that, that means hello. hello in the morning, afternoon, and evening. So hello, I am JD. And I am Charlene. And you're watching c o t s TV, episode number two. <laughs> So today we have a plethora of awesomeness for you. First off, banana show. What can we say? <laughs> What can't be said about the banana show? First Totes of all, totally true. Totally true. A banana, the, the banana show is something essential that you should definitely watch before leaving the island of Okinawa. Why? Because you're gonna be like our friend Marcus. You're gonna leave the island and regret. Not ever seeing the show at all. Even though you kind of hear what it's about, you have to be there to really know what it's about. It's a life changing experience. I am not the same. It's, it's real. <laughs> I went on stage. Enjoy that. <laughs> We just left it to your imagination what was happening. If you want to find out, you know, what's going on, you can look it up on YouTube.、Um, we haven't looked it up personally because we've seen it and that's all we need to see. Just type in Banana Show into the search bar on YouTube and see what you get. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, we recently went、um, because I live on base and that's where we take. The shows are on base at Mirin k a d i n a And we went to the Shilling Community Center where、um, they have a lot of different things for people that live on the island. Most, it's for military though, I'm pretty sure, right? Only? That's true. So we went there and we interviewed our friend Maria, Maria. Bazell. So can you tell us what the Shilling Community Center does for families or pretty much anybody that lives on the island? Offer classes and like kind of like a place for people to get away from like their military jobs. We got a game room, we got like,、um, we got this p u t p u t golfing area, and then we also got、um, the skate ramp back there. And then the classes we've got like piano classes, we've got the Discover program, which is also a free tour. So if you're interested, Now put in your name and it's a little drawing, so we'll call you if you get drawn. And,、um, yeah, it's just free tours around Okinawa.、Um, my favorite part about my job would be working with people and then just making their day a little bit better or easier.、Um, I just really like how Shelly can be kind of like a sanctuary, I guess, from your military you know, everyday stress. So it's just a place. It's, it's good to work with people and be able to de stress them by providing the game possible. Well, thank you very much, m a r i a for your time. And bye bye, people. We'd like to thank Maria for this interview. Couldn't do it without you, girl. You、That's、were amazing.、Sure. And、uh, we'd like to give a shout out to Maria and Eli. What up? Happy anniversary! We know it's past your anniversary, but we just wanted to put you on our television show and say. Congratulations on your marriage and congratulations、um, for your future years together. You guys are so adorable. Oh my god. Love ya.、Um, first question we have here is from Frank, and he asks Hey, Have you seen vending machines with used underwear? What are the price ranges? Great question, Frank. Thank you. We have not. We have seen not. Those. <laughs> <laughs> And we're not secretly hiding that from you. We haven't, we haven't actually seen it. But we can't confirm or deny that they don't exist around here because we haven't actually searched for them. We've heard that they do exist, though. I would、That's、think、true. probably on the main islands or the mainland of Japan. Because again, we're the little teeny island at the end of the. 
and mm -hmm. it's probably a bit more raunchier on the mainland. Yeah. But I'm sure Okinawa has its share of underground. Oh, it does. Okay. Stavaganzas. We do have vending machines, and we'll put them on one of the videos, um, perhaps the next video to show you all. But uh, they're they're like little drinking vending vending machines, not like drinking alcohol, but like they're on pretty much every corner. It doesn't matter if it's rural or what, but they're on every corner, and a lot of them have a picture of Tommy Lee Jones on them. Boss. For some reason. <laughs> don't know why. It's really random, and Tommy Lee Jones. Hey, shout out. <laughs> what up, Tommy? <laughs> so, our next question is from Diana, and she asks, I have a couple of questions. I have always wanted to visit Okinawa and experience the culture, but I heard it is a very expensive city to travel to. What would be the best way for an average person with a small budget to visit Okinawa and still have an amazing experience? So I would have to say, yeah, you're right, it is pretty pricey to travel here, mostly because the airline tickets will cost you an arm and a leg. Um, from research that I've done, it seems to be September where it can go down to the 700 range, like maybe mid six, maybe 650 or something, but that's not including tax, so again, it could go up from oh, there. It's like 800 maybe. Yeah, um, but it can also go up to about $1,400 for, I've seen a couple times, so you really just have to research it almost I would say every couple weeks if you're really wanting to come out here and book your tickets because again it can change and depending on the sites like I like Orbitz, um, cheaptickets.com yeah. and we'll put those on the bottom so um, just click on them. And, yeah just uh, play around with the dates. Yeah. You know, it's pretty much nice here all year round. It'll be a little chillier in the, um, the winter months but it doesn't snow here obviously. And also, depending on your budget, um, you might want to bring at least $60 per person for each day, depending, again, like on your budget. But I would say minimal for food, like expenses and everything. I think that sounds about right, like 60 bucks a day. Yeah, for cheap eating here and there, though, McDonald's is probably the best choice because it's, it's great food and it's cheap. It's fresh here. It's nothing compared to McDonald's in America. Sorry, McDonald's, but here it's like way, way better. And they also have convenience stores that are open 24 hours off base. Especially. Family Mart, yeah, definitely. And they have like noodles for like 100 yen, which is like a dollar. The rate here is uh, 80 yen to the dollar, US dollar. And uh, yeah, so it's good to know the yen rate before you come out, for sure. Yeah, it could be for or against your favor. Yeah, exactly. So make sure you have a safety net for your money. Mm-hmm. It's always good to have backup. Mm -hmm. Plus, you don't know what can happen. Things happen and, and you might need money for extra things. Like, maybe you want to hit up a, a gentleman's club. <laughs> maybe. You know, you just got to be prepared for that. If you're a dude. If you're a dude. Well, ladies are welcome, too. That makes it all the more fun. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, a, another cool thing that we didn't even know about is they have something called woofing here. Woof woof. Woof. And uh, it's basically, it's W-W-O-O-F. And what it is, is people here that live on the island um, take others in that want to come here and give them free room and board and cook for them, like food and all that. So um, the only thing is you do work four to six hours a day and it depends, it like really varies. You can do organic farming, you can learn how to make charcoal, you can learn how to build a log cabin, you can um, do like music festivals, like say if they're hosting one. Of course you have to pay for your plane ticket out here because they're not going to pay for it. And it really depends on who you stay with because some people will actually book tours for you and book things for you to do on your free time because again that's up to you and I don't think you work weekends. I'm not sure though. And we have the link um, below and uh, the annual rate is about 4,000 yen. So that would be what like $52 US? Roughly yeah. Around there. 
So, um, and it's your job to contact whoever you want to stay with and then they'll keep in touch with you from there. They'll tell you if they're booked, if they're a really popular um, group of people, like say a school or something, um, you want to book way in advance because they do book very early. So you want to know what you want to do before you actually um, call or you can put your name in for like a year in advance or something like that. Is this considered like an all-inclusive thing? Yes. So um, again, well, all the information is in the description box. It's actually really cool. I wouldn't mind doing that even if you live here. Like learning something like farming. Who doesn't want to learn how to grow their own, you know, stuff? My mom used to do that back in the day. Oh, Farmer that's in the cool. Philippines. Yeah. And again, it's not just here, it's other countries like Philippines, um, Italy, I think, has some friends. Australia? Maybe. Oh, it's all on there. They one. have a list of all the people who do it in different countries. So go there. It's www.oof.org. And um, just go from there and just look around. So that's. Um, yeah, just go ahead and woof it up. Yeah, woof. Totes. <laughs> so if you're on a budget, those are some definite um, th like options. And of course, if you know somebody who lives on base, you have free room and board anyway. So there you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> Only for people I know. Sorry. Sorry, strangers. <laughs> Thank you so much for your question, Diana. Yeah. Oh, she also asked one more question. Okay, shoot. Okay. Um, she asks, what's with all the karaoke? We can talk about this one, right? So basically, karaoke is a Japanese tradition that's been going on for years. It's a really social thing. And, and you know, um, it wasn't long after that that the Americans took hold of that tradition. Um, and I, th I believe it's pronounced okay. Right? Something like that, yeah. And uh, we have some awesome footage of our very own James Wong singing some karaoke. Okay. Kare okay. So we will put that here. during the summer and we had the options of take as many day trips as possible go to as many beaches as possible go to the pool have barbecues and eat sushi oh and also eat at Coco's curry house and take as many day trips as possible one thank you um, so much to our viewers for asking questions this week um, we want you to keep asking questions Please, we love answering them if we think of any interesting ones we'll go ahead and ask you on our page like us on Facebook Follow her on Twitter. Subscribe. I'm not on Twitter so much. Subscribe, definitely. And we also get your comments on our Twitter. You can also like reply to our comments, and we'll get them there. It's kind of late. So anyway, Twitter, Facebook, subscribe because we need subscribers. Comment below, and we will always get back to you no matter what the question is. And if you're old school, you can email us at toasttv at gmail.com. Yes. And we'll so there's no that. excuses. Below. Respond back promptly. Until then. Arigato gozaimasu. Totes gozaimasu. Hey, another thing too. Just wondering, why can't you have more days off for being awesome? There's a lot of awesome people I know. Comment below and let us know what you think, alright? See you next week.